We're just south of Wendover. We are at Wendover Dean Viaduct. The train, HST route, will lead the Chiltern Tunnels. Um, we'll travel through a cutting, over the viaduct and continue behind me through another cutting and onto a viaduct and a green tunnel. The viaduct is 450 metres long. Um, it's 10 spans, so they're about 45 metres each. The maximum height of the viaduct is 20 metres from ground level. The viaduct gets built in sections, so there's two spans at a time and those sections get welded together on site and then they get pushed out over the piers that have already been built and then the next two sections get added and the whole thing gets pushed out and we do that five times for the 10 spans. The gravel platform behind me is the route of the viaduct, so that's where the piers will start appearing in three or four months time. The structure is a double composite, so it's a steel beam with concrete top and bottom. This has allowed us to use less concrete, save carbon, and it will give us a, a stronger, lighter, more elegant structure that will sit better in the landscape. Behind me is the, the piling rig that's putting the piles in 38 or 45 metres deep. So when we get to the bottom, we lower in a reinforcement cage and fill them back up with concrete. Running past to the, the dump trucks, which are working on South Heath cutting. So removing the material there and transporting it further up the trace to be reused for fill. So when the viaduct's finished, we'll replant with species that are common in the local area. So it will sit nicer within the local landscape. I'm very proud of the team. They've worked really hard, really looking forward to getting stuck in and getting it built.